Easy. I'll tell you what, it's going to be another beautiful day out here this morning, guys. And we don't have any wind today, so we're going to light this fire. Get that thing burning pretty hot. Take down a couple trees today. Get them up here and trimmed up while this thing's burning. It'll be a great day for it. It's going to be a nice day to be outside. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Now, if you guys have one of these weed burners, when they come new from the store, they're going to have this little plastic cover on them for your POL fitting. And what that does is that keeps any kind of bugs or debris getting inside of that. It's very important that if you're like me, you don't use this thing very often. So when you're storing it, make sure you put that plastic plug back over it. And if you have misplaced your plug, just put a piece of black tape right over the end of it. All it takes is something, the one of those beetle bugs or a spider to lay a web across that. And this torch won't function the way it's supposed to for you. And then if you turn the tank pressure on and blow that into your fitting here, you can actually clog this thing up and cause it not to work at all. So remember, if you have your plastic cap, put it back on. If you don't, just put a piece of tape over the end of it. This thing will last you forever. Left hand threads here, guys. Now these new valves are spring-loaded, so as you're threading that in there, and you can use a wrench on it to really get it compressed in there tight. Once you get your uh, hose into the tank valve here, turn this on really slow. Uh, there's a safety feature inside these valves, and if you just open it right up, it'll click itself shut, and then it won't allow gas to travel to the burner for you. So nice and easy until you charge the line up. Got to turn it the right way here. You can see the line pressuring up. Okay. Yep, we're going to be working here. Now, if this thing snaps shut, sometimes you have to actually disconnect your line, shut this uh, valve off on the tank disconnect the line and let it set for a half a minute or so and then put your line back in and again when you turn these valves on turn them on real slow because if it if the valve senses that it has too much pressure downstream of it it'll snap itself shut it's a safety feature and you won't be able to get anything out of the tank we have no wind out today so today is we're gonna light this thing on fire and let it go uh, I'm gonna get you guys scooted back quite a ways this thing's gonna get hot there's quite a bit laying in there should light right up for us though, hopefully. Thumbs up. And uh, while this thing is burning, I've got a couple of trees down back at the new creek crossing that I'm going to take down. As we climb up and over to the other side, uh, there was a couple of nice sized cedar trees that I can use for the bridge. And they're right in the way of the path. So I'm going to go ahead and take a, at least one of them down, maybe two. And while this thing's burning down, we'll bring them up and trim them up for us. Uh, again, it's going to be a nice day out here, so we'll keep working. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Now when I'm lighting one of these, I try to get something I can prop this thing up on and go ahead and get your flame lit before you start turning the valve open. Because it happens, I mean right there at the end of it. Hands back. I bet we don't have to leave that on there very long before this thing fires right up. No cedar branches on there have been down for quite a while. So they've had a week or so to dry out real good. And yeah, it, it's going to burn. Now you can throw your fire too. Now we don't have any wind today. But if I want the fire to burn slow, then I'll get on the, the uh, downwind side of it. If I want it to burn fast, I'll stay up on the upwind side of it so it'll play the flow the flame into the fire. Like I said, these things move fast. That's not all I'm going to get. Another 
thing I could, I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shut this off the tank and let that burn out of the torch. That bleeds that line so when I disconnect this thing, I don't have all that excessive pressure on this. Makes it easier to turn off the uh, tank itself. Yeah, that's going pretty good. I knew that would go quick. Ooh, doggies. <laughs> Get this tank back out of the way. Alright, I better scoot you guys back. It's getting warm up here. Well, that didn't take long. Well, guys, our bridge timbers is growing and the fire pile's getting smaller. The perfect plan. Like I said, these trees, when they're green, they're heavy. Yep, let's go together. Wow. Now yeah, let's see if we can bring her across. guys we got it up here the fires burnt down to the perfect height I'm gonna trim this thing up get the branches thrown on there I'll get the logs cut to length that we're going to use and we'll separate those for our bridge like I said the bridge project uh, we've got a probably I'm gonna say another 15 or 20 logs to cut and then we're gonna start decking that thing off and, and getting re ready to ride on and I'm really looking forward to that that's gonna turn out good 
I want to thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. Enjoy this weather. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs>